Hello, everybody. How are you this afternoon? I bet that's Courtney there. Um, I won't keep y'all long today. I just wanted to show that I am actually still in New York. I'm probably headed home tonight. I hope so. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> we don't do a lot of plans. We just sort of go with the flow of things. And um, right now I'm in Harlem in a really cool apartment. And we're just having some downtime. Um, I've had such a fun stay here. Don't, didn't do a lot of sightseeing because that's not what I do when I come to visit my friends. We just sort of hang out. But we stayed in some really nice hotels. Had some wonderful parties. Um, and now I'm just sort of chilling out. I've been away today. Hey, Courtney, what's up? I've been away today. So um, my apologies for not having a normal routine in place. <laughs> it's been such a whirl whirlwind. I'm kind of just now realizing that, oh my gosh, I didn't do my Monday, night, my Monday noon video. Um, I had to post for the new two car challenge which I'm so glad, you know, thank you for participating last week. We're gonna start the new one, leave your feedback, but um, that's gonna be really exciting, getting a new partner. And I'll have to see what I can do for Monday night meetup tonight and major arc in the talks. I'm gonna probably pre-record them and then just release them at the appropriate time. But anyway, thank you all so much for um, all the wonderful participation in the group. And I'm just here enjoying New York. It's been like over two years since I've been here. And now that I'm back, I'm like, I need to come back again and really explore and do some things. It's a great energy. If you've never been to New York, I've met a few people who have not been. Um, you have to come. It's not like any other place. Even when you are a world traveler and you go to like lots of the major cities in the world, they all kind of end up being the same. Yeah, Courtney, you totally should come. Um... All the major cities kind of feel like the same after you've been to one, you've been to them all, but there's something about New York, y'all. It's just so different. So I got my New York fix for now and I'm probably gonna come back on my own terms and do what I wanna do. But it's been a pretty incredible experience. Has some fun spiritual things happened since I've been here. Hey April, how are you? Um, I do need to get some New York dirt. You know, when you requested, I hear that fire alarm or ambulance, whatever that is. Um, you request New York dirt, and it's like, you know, dirt is pretty rare in New York. It's like all concrete. So <laughs> I'll see what I can do, though. How's everybody's day going so far? Um, I know it's Monday, but it doesn't feel like Monday to me. It's like an extended weekend and the weather is so good here right now, you all. I'll probably go out soon and just like walk around, breathe some fresh air. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna try to find April. Um, and there was such good energy this morning. So I hope you all are feeling that because I'm feeling it. The energy is so good. Mind you, I need to shave. Forgive me, you all. <laughs> But I'm headed home, so it should be that business as usual, hopefully tomorrow. Uh, I got to choose a card for discussion tonight. Uh, let's figure out which one is. But since I have y'all here, you all, this is my thoughts for the day channel. Let me go ahead and share a thought for the day. Yeah, it is April. Like, I want to just show you, or Courtney, sorry. I want to just show y'all everything, but it's not my home, and I didn't really get the consent, so I don't know if it's too kosher to share everything, but it just is really inspiring. So let's talk about that. Um, Y'all, your living space, we talked about clearing out the clutter last week. Um, Your living space, y'all, is like your own temple. It is your own temple, and so it should really reflect you, and y'all know how I feel about capitalism and consumerism. Like, we're thought to think, oh... I have to get this perfectly decorated space and I have to go shopping and buy these things. You all, your space is a reflection of you. So like 
the items that you have in it should be um, thoughtfully placed and fill it with objects that like mean stuff to you and charge them with intentions. This home is a really good example of that. And you can make any, you can make something that's not, doesn't cost anything. You can make it look like a million bucks, a million bucks. One of the things I love about this space is this guy has Popeye's chicken boxes pinned to the wall above his kitchen, which sounds so crazy. Like that's, let's say that saying one man's trash is another man's treasure. Hey, Nicole, you all, the value is what you place into it. Like value is not even a real thing. It's subjective, you know? So you have these corporations who are charging you money by the value that they place in an object. You know, when I was looking at people's gifts, um, during Christmas, there are some Instagram people I follow and they have all Gucci bags under the tree and it looks so fucking tacky to me. It's like, you have people dictating what's valuable in your life and so in order to feel like you have value, you go out and spend all this money on some bullshit when you all like, we create the value. Like, that's a part of empowerment. You create the value in objects and things and you surround yourself with them and place them thoughtfully in your home and your environment so that they can charge it the proper way rather than go out to Ikea, go out to um, Pier 1 or wherever y'all shop and pay way too much money for some bullshit, y'all. He has Popeye's chicken boxes pinned to the wall. Y'all know, if y'all eat Popeye's chicken, y'all know I'm vegetarian right now, but y'all know the significance of that. If you have had that experience and it means something to you, you can honor that and then decorate your home with it and it costs nothing and it means the world. That's like, so being spiritual creatures and being like creators we have the power to, you know, transmit energy, send it, receive it, create our own environments. Bring that creativity into your daily living, you all. And that's one of my goals with my apartment. That's why I was clearing out the clutter. <laughs> that's why I was clearing out the clutter to um, really take control of my space. And so this is really, really inspiring. And that's why I love being surrounded by creative people. And um, there goes another siren. <laughs> But y'all just remember, yeah, your home is your temple, everybody. Your body is your temple, blah, 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 blah. But like create, like create a space for you and the life that you want to live. Don't let other people define that for you. You know, your career. You just got off the phone with an uh, an ex-coworker, an old coworker, and we are reminiscing about the past few months. You all, everything should be a reflection of you and you should create it. You know, when you start to become in power, you learn how to do that, so... That's today's lesson. Let's keep it light. <laughs> if you like the sound of that, let me know in the comments. And if, um, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed that. I'm really inspired by that, you all. You know, I stayed at some really nice hotels. Um, that's fun, too, to spoil yourself every now and then and do that. But y'all know I preach empowerment. That's all I'm, I talk about. So these are different ways, creative ways to be empowered and to express it, like, not only your empowerment, but your creativity and your um, originality. So if y'all want to know what I'm talking about, check out my Facebook page, The Urban Alchemist, and you'll see a few photos there if you're curious what I was mentioning. All right, you all. Have a wonderful day, wonderful week. I will talk to you.